Hello my soccer universe. Well, it's time again to look at some of my European national team jerseys and while I think we've covered almost all of them, except for the newer ones, there was one that when I ran through them last year that I was surprised that I omitted and that's the one we're going to look at today. You saw in the headlines an Italy jersey. It's this long sleeve 2014 Italy home jersey. This was worn at the 2014-15. It was worn at the World Cup in Brazil where Italy, yeah, the less we talk the better. Uh, but also in the successful campaign for Euro 2016 where Italy actually played quite well. These were uh, under Antonio Conte and where I actually saw Italy play in this jersey in Sofia against Bulgaria. It was a 2-2 game. Bulgaria led for a long time, but Italy was really coming off strong and yeah. So that's all. Let's look at it. This is, as I said, it's a long sleeve. Uh, I got this in 2016, I want to say, from Classic Football Shirts. It was sort of on sale and, you know, I want to get a few long sleeves. I mean, for a long sleeve, it is cold. A long sleeve is fine. Um, I do like hockey jerseys. A tad bit better but you know those are quite nice and this is a player version it's not a um, replica so this is the actual player version but it's not the ACTV fit the super tight one uh, Puma had two versions produced for each player uh, kind of a regular fit or the super tight fit and this is the re regular fit uh, because I thought yeah for a long sleeve a super tight you know you want to pull it over some clothes I also chose XL, which might be a little wide, especially since the collar. You've seen in videos, this collar is really wide. Let's look at a few specialities here. First of all, the collar. You see here, there are tons of buttons. The buttons are absolutely non-functional. This is just sewn on. You cannot take this off. You cannot tie it here. It's absolutely 100% non-functional at all. It's just a decorative element. I do like the little Italy flag. Um, the why I like this jersey is that it kind of has a little bit of everything that I like in an Italy jersey, except for the crest. But um, the crest is not my favorite, but look at it. This is just a plastic transfer over. Quite sturdy, I have to say. But look at it in detail. It, is made that it looks like it's stitched on which of course it is not this is all plastic i guess you hear it but i think it's a really nice touch i also find that the eye here looks more like uh kind of almost like a j but in the wrong direction <laughs> so that's interesting too same applies in a way for the puma logos they also look stitched on, but this is just a plastic transfer. They're in gold. Um, we have here on this leaf as well. Um, then the ACTV version had here some bands uh, that kind of made it really tight. This is not happening here. This is just uh, more or less taped on, but it makes this weird cut here into the ventilated material that we also have on the back. This here is a heavily ventilated, quite nice four-way stretch material whereas this is more like standard soccer jersey stuff here on the front um the inside of the collar this is the same material that was used for the away jersey which i still don't like that much it looks like a pajama and then on the sleeve cuffs uh i mean the uh, the sleeves are all full material and then the sleeve cuffs have this interesting inset with the italian flag i like this course I would like it more if it goes all all around I was a little bit disappointed that you yeah, know on the inside it's all red it's just take the material and fold it over but yeah I have it without name or number note also here they have again like the England shirt that I have from 2010 also this uh, there is a seam made here or kind of this is uh, thrown, sewn together to give it a little bit more of a fitted fit if you can say so tailored fit yeah, cut custom it. The panels on top, you know, on the shoulders, it's all nicely vent ventilated, so you don't get too hot in this one. Overall, let's see, it has here the tag for the dry cell logo. What I really don't like is, and that um, on the inside here, 
and this is only on one side the seam is kind of almost getting loose i have to have this redone it also does have which i think the actv version does not have it does have the tag inside which uh, player versions very often do not have this again an element that is completely 100 100% um, for show there is no real thing happening it just looks that way but overall um, I really like this Italy jersey I wish that the team was a little bit more successful in that one that is actually one of the better Italy jerseys as of late I have to say uh, because it has almost all the classic elements. I do wish of a, not as much as a rugby style color, but maybe a nicer color and maybe a, not as wide of a color. Although honestly, to get your head through, it is kind of tight because it doesn't stretch at all. So maybe it makes sense that the color is a little bit wider. But other than that, it has all the classics. It has the right color. It doesn't do anything crazy. If now the Italy crest was just uh, Italia shield or well, maybe the new crest maybe if they could could go down already four year, year years ago this would be even better but overall really nice shirt i would rate this really highly uh if i had to let me know what you think about this jersey any memories attached to it well not many memories from brazil nine uh 2014 i guess but yeah uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this uh, jersey and this video and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will give you all the updates, all things that rotate in my soccer universe. And with that, I'm gonna wish you a very good day. Bye!